Hi friends, welcome back to another video. In this video today, we'll be talking about pivot tables and how to create one within Excel. So I've got some data here for a electronic store which sells microwaves, ACs, toasters, and so on. And it's broken down by store and the country the store is in, the region, the original price of the product, um, the actual sale price, and the discount that was offered on the particular product and the salespeople um, across the different stores. And now we can analyze the data one by one, but that will take you a very long time, especially if you've got more data. So the more effective way to do this would be through a pivot table. And the way to create a pivot table is quite simple. You go on insert, select pivot table, and then you select your data range um, from here. So just select the data you want. So I'm gonna select all these um, 20 different rows. Then you can either put it in the existing worksheet or a new worksheet. I always prefer to put in a new worksheet and then simply press OK. Now there's a couple of things you'll notice. So on the right hand side, you've got all your different fields within your data set on the top right here. So store, country, region, and so on. Then you've got these four different options. You've got filters, columns, rows, and values. So you can essentially manipulate your data based on these different four options. So for example, let's give you a little demo. So let's say you wanted a filter view of your stores. So if you simply drag the store into filter, then you will have a filter option for all your different stores. Whereas if you drag it into columns, then going across your page, you will have all the different stores um, within your Excel. Similarly with rows, it will be going downwards. So all your different stores. And then the value option will give you a count of the number of stores you have within your data. But this in isolation is probably not useful. But when you combine different fields and all these different options together, you can start really manipulating your data in a more interesting and meaningful way. OK, so let's create some example scenarios. Question number one, your manager has asked you to come up with a list of the top performing stores by sale. So how would you do that? So it's quite simple. So let's start from scratch. Let's just put this to the side. So select this and just drop it anywhere. And that just deletes it from your options. So let's show the stores in a row view as such. And then let's show the sale price in the value option. So we're going to go on sold price, which is our sale price. And then we're going to drop it into values. Now you can see that Athens has sold 578 dollars or pounds worth and for example London is the highest performing one with just over 1800 and then so on and so forth. Now to make this data a little bit more presentable there's a few things you can do. So let me just zoom in so you can see more clearly. So what you can do is let's change this to a currency value. So just select it, go on this drop down right here, go on currency and then change the decimal places. So now I have a currency view the other thing you can do is change the sorting order so it's more easier to view. So select the first one, right click, go on sort, and then press largest to smallest. Now London is at the top, and then Mumbai is at the bottom at £29. So that's an easier way to see your data. Some of the things you can do is change the title. So I'm just going to change that to total sales. Um, so it's easier to see. And then let's change that to stores. Now, another thing you can do here is this alone may not give you a true picture of what's going on. So let's add another um, field here of the discount given. So if I select this discount field and drop it into values, I'm going to change this to a percentage, not pound or a currency. So let's go on uh, percentage and then change the decimal place. Now you can start building a more interesting picture. So yes, London was the top performing uh, store, but it also gave the highest number of discounts. And maybe that's the reason why it was the top performing. Whereas Mumbai was the lowest, but it only gave 3% discounts. So now that you've understood the basics of the pivot table, let's play with the data a little bit more. So let's remove the sum of discount from the values. And rather than showing total sales, I want to understand what is the average sales across each of the stores. So rather than a total sum value, I want to average. So the way to do that is on the right hand side under values, go on the drop down, 
select a value field settings and rather than sum let's select average and see what happens so now you can see that the average um, across all of the different stores so for example rio was 686 whereas mumbai again was fairly low at 29 and so on and so forth so that starts to build a different story and different picture around what is the average sale price across the different stores now the next thing we can do is add a filter at the top of our data so let's say we want to filter by region so we can quickly understand how different regions are performing or extract data by region so simply go on the region um, data right here drag it into your filter option now excel will be splitting the data by region so for example we can select whatever we want so let's say we selected emea press ok and you can see that it's showing only the countries within that particular region and similarly let's say we want to select um, this one right here press ok now you can see these particular stores so again a different way to cut and dissect your data based on your needs right now another thing i want to show you is how to create formulas within your pivot table so let's do a example so i want to understand what is the the discount value or the, the amount of money we've lost by giving discounts so i've got my stores here i'm going to drag in the original price in values and i'm also going to drag in the sold price and then let's sort it by highest to lowest so as you can see i've got the original price i've got the actual sale price and i want to ideally a column here which subtracts one from the other so the way we do that is select your data then on pivot table analyze press this field item and sets button right here and then go on calculate value or calculate field sorry let's rename it to discount in brackets let's type in loss so that's the money we've lost in discounts and then on formula let's rub this off so equals first item will be original price insert field then press minus then select the sold price and then insert field again and then press ok now what excel will do is it will add this as an additional data set within the pivot table so as you can see discount loss and then we'll automatically calculate the formula on the right hand side so as you can see that london has lost 920 pound through discounts whereas mumbai has only lost one pound in terms of discounts so that's another way you can manipulate the pivot table to create different formulas to arrive at different data sets.